Yes, I know, I thought I was done with this deck too. Oh, hey, what's up you guys, how's it going? It's Papa, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my updated sprite list that I have been playing for the upcoming new format. And I know a lot of you guys are tired of seeing sprite, but it's probably the deck that I feel the most comfortable with going into this new format. I mean, granted, we're gonna be going into a format where there's three Macrocosmos, three D Fisher, and I'm just not down for that. I know a lot of people aren't really like too happy about the last ban list that happened, but uh, Sprite surprisingly doesn't lose to cards like D-Shifter, cards like Macro, but it is still a fun deck to play, and I am doing a different build than what I am normally used to playing for this deck. But without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the profile. Starting off with the main deck, we do, of course, play three copies of blue. Uh, shouldn't really come as a surprise, you have to play three blue three copies of Jet still because this searches you everything that you need. And then one copy of Red and one copy of Carrot. I am not playing Pixies in this list. This is a 40 card list. If you want to play Pixies, feel free to play the Pixies and put it at 41. I don't think that's wrong, but I am also just trying to keep the deck at a nice even 40. But if you want to play Pixies, you can. I would just suggest throwing it in, making the deck 41. But that's it for the Sprite lineup. Uh, with a twist, we are playing Trick Stars in this deck. So we play the one copy of Candina with two copies of Lily Bell. What I like about these cards is that they help you search uh, like Reincarnation. They help you uh, Reincarnation Jewel your opponent. Uh, what it also does is like Candina gets you Lily Bell and uh, Lily Bell uh, summons itself when it's added except by drawing it. And it basically just summons it and then you have your sprites which help you pop off from there. It's an easy gigantic. Uh, Candina is a one card gigantic. Uh, Light Sage is a full one card uh, gigantic as well. I do really enjoy these cards. I really think they make playing Sprite a little bit more fun and I have seen a couple of different trick star lists online that do play Sprite but this is just my take on it. I don't want to brick with multiple copies so I wasn't playing like Korobane or uh, the what's the other one the Licorice. I just didn't think that those cards were necessary. I think just having just the simplicity is better because we do play multiple engines in this deck. And of course we play one copy of Hyperia because we are mostly summoning this off of Gigantic depending on what our hand is. Uh, I am playing Prosperity in this deck so it does kind of conflict sometimes but having Hyperia there to just help you get your turn started. Uh, if you don't open up Candina but you open up this and like other sprite names. Uh, it really just depends on preference but sometimes this gets cited out. It really just depends on your opening hand but I do still like the little guy. I think he's still a lot of fun to play in this deck. So I did try to keep this deck to, uh, as close to 40 as possible, so I am playing two copies of Fenrir. You could play three if you want to. I have been playing three, but I ended up breaking on multiples, because what sucks is drawing multiple copies of Fenrir in your opening hand, especially because it's your only target to search off of its own effect. So I thought just playing the two was fine, and so far playing two has been pretty good. Uh, you don't really, like, uh, draw, need this card in like the late game you mainly just want to try and start with it so it's cool if you see it if not no worries I mean it's just here just for an extra form of interruption and then I play a very small Bistol lineup I do play two copies of Magnemut and then one copy of Jurus Worm and one copy of Serenir this is basically just to make it to where like if I open up uh, like the Magna and a Jurus Worm, then I can just search the Serenir, or vice versa, if I open up the Serenir, I can just search the Jurus Worm off of the Magna. Uh, basically, there's been times where I've bricked on multiple copies of Vistals, and I'm just not trying to have that happen. So I just thought playing the 1-1 one, one with the two searches was uh, more optimal, and so far during testing, it's been doing really good. And I really like these cards. I really feel like you have to play these cards uh, in this upcoming format, but uh, this is just my take on it. So far, it's been nice. I haven't really needed more, and definitely don't need less. So just four pistols. For hand traps, we are on three copies of Droll and Lockbird because of course we are. And then we're also playing three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Uh, it shouldn't really have to be too big here. I mean, Ash and Droll both kill Flunder as well as three copies of Infinite and Permanence. You're basically just trying to stop uh, the Robina, stop the Eaglin, uh, basically make it to where they don't summon the Barrier Statue on you. And then also uh, these cards help you against uh, tier element as well. Uh, basically ashing the Havnus so that way they don't get to play on your turn is really good. And then Imperm just for helping break boards going second is also very nice. Uh, Droll is like basically the weird one that since we are playing Reincarnation, you're still trying to resolve Droll Reincarnation to just stop your opponent. But that's it for the hand traps, just nine. I didn't think you really needed anything more because we're also playing the Bistol, so it's actually like we're playing uh, 13 hand traps as opposed to just the nine. For the spells, we are on three copies of Trickstar Light Stage. I've been waiting for this card to come back to three for the longest time. I really do enjoy Light Stage, uh, and it also really helps you against uh, back row. So like basically when you 
uh, goes second. This basically acts as like a night beam for the turn. Uh, basically makes them have to activate it then or just forever hold their peace. But I do like Light Stage because this is a one card uh, sprite combo. Basically you do Light Stage and then Light Stage gets you Candina. Candina gets you Lily Bell. Lily Bell summons itself. You use the two to go into Elf. Elf brings back the Lily Bell and then you overlay for Gigantic and then you do Sprite combo from there. But uh, that's like worst comes to worst. That's only if you don't have another sprite name in hand. Uh, we also play three copies of Starter. Uh, this is just the best card in the deck. Uh, e Tele for any sprite name. You do take damage, but I mean, who cares if you're doing it turn one? Uh, game one, I mean, it doesn't really matter. But Starter is basically just your saving grace. This card with Light Sage is just insane. Uh, full two card combo, really nice. And then, of course, I am on two copies of Prosperity. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this card yet. I kind of just want to play more copies of Hyperia uh, just to help with like the summoning uh, part of it. But uh, I don't know. Prosperity has been kind of weird. Uh, Prosperity is mainly good in the like grind game or when you're playing uh, going uh, second games two and game three, uh, basically just helping you like see your side deck cards, but you don't really need it too much game one. I mean, granted, you could cut this in general if you don't feel like playing it and play like a third Fenrir or you could play more Bistols. Uh, it really is just up to self-preference, but I just wanted to have it just to have like extra leeway when you do your full combo and then you just do this at the end to draw you into like a hand trap or like reincarnation. Uh, maybe droll depending on what your situation is but I only opted for two I definitely didn't want to do three because I just didn't think it was too worth it and then when we play one call by the grave of course this card is still not banned for some reason so we do have to still play it uh, one terraforming and one smashers for the rest of the spells uh, terraforming granted we only play the uh, light stage for the targets uh, we don't have mystic mind anymore thank god so I uh, just play four copies of light stage very very nice and running off the main deck, we do play two copies of Reincarnation because that is the name of the game in this deck. So 40 cards, uh, nice, simple, no more, no less, just a nice, clean, even 40. For the extra deck, uh, nothing too crazy. It's very, very simple. Uh, two copies of Gigantic. Uh, you could play uh, like other names as well if you want to. I mean, this is just my list so far. I do still play uh, Gym Buster. Uh, I'm trying Cat Shark. I don't know how to feel about it too much. It's never really come up for me, but basically it just makes your gigantic uh, 64. You could play Gamma Burst as well if you want to, uh, if you like doing that. Uh, basically, you can just search it off a jet instead of searching like the Smashers or the Starter. But uh, I do like uh, Cat Shark just for like basically going for game. But other than that, I haven't really used it too much, so I don't know if I would basically use it in the future. Uh, there's also that new number that came out, number two from the new Battles of Legend. If you guys want to try playing that, I would suggest playing that as well. I don't have one personally, so I just haven't uh, tried it too much. But if you want to give it a try, go ahead and give it a try, because I hear it's really good. And then one Onibaru, uh, one turn Farfa, can't really complain. Very nice card. I am still playing a Sprint. Granted, there's not really too much to target with this card, but I do like having it as just like um, the interruption part of it, but I don't really use it. It's basically just there as like insurance, nothing too crazy. I am still on three copies of Elf. This is basically to where uh, if I had to do like ugly combos to basically make your full uh, sprite combo, basically what I was saying earlier about the Candina and the Light Stage being a turn one, or not a turn one, a one card uh, gigantic play. Uh, basically, it makes it to where you can uh, basically play sloppy with your elves, but you don't really want to do that, but it's just there as just extra coverage. So that's the sprites. We do play one Mascarena because this card's broken in sprite. Uh, one Dark Charmer. Uh, granted, if you don't want to play the third elf, you could take it out for like the Earth Charmer, or you can take it out for, say, like the new number. Uh, two that just came out in Battles of Legend. Uh, you could play like uh, the Light Charmer because we are playing uh, the Trick Stars and they are light, but it's really just up to preference. But I'm still playing Phoenix, uh, still playing Unicorn because these cards paired with Mascarena is just really good interruption. Uh, one Access Code because it's still basically your game under, and one Abramax because this with Mascarena and Elf is just insane. And rounding it off for the side deck, we do play one copy of Red Resonator because Tyne is still a bitch. Uh, three copies of D-Shifter. Uh, you don't really need like Macro or D-Fisher in this deck. I just feel like Shifter is just better to play. Uh, it's definitely more suitable because you can, again, uh, combo off. It does hurt a little bit uh, playing this with uh, uh, Sprite, but you're basically trying to just stop your opponent, and this card does a really good job at doing that. Uh, two copies of Talents. Uh, this is basically just for going second. Uh, one Feather Duster. And then probably the MVP of the side deck is Different Dimension Ground. This card puts in a lot of work, but I definitely do enjoy playing it. And it's basically just a reoccurring uh, shifter during your opponent's turn. And it's very, very nice. 
uh, three copies of Evenly Match. Uh, I was main decking this, but I decided to take it out and I threw the pistols in there instead. And honestly, it's been pretty fine in the side deck. I can't complain. And hey, running off the side deck, we do play two copies of Trap Trick because this gets you impermanence, this gets you uh, reincarnation, this gets you different dimension grounds, this can even get you evenly matched depending on the situation. But that's really going to go ahead and do it for the video, you guys. I mean, I do like playing Sprite a lot, and I know a lot of you guys are probably tired of seeing the deck, but I do enjoy this list, and I think it's just a more fun way to play Sprite, especially if you're trying uh, to just kind of have fun playing. Uh, if you don't really want to like play like too much of the meta cards, uh, the Trickstar engine is really cool. I do like the Trickstar cards a lot, and uh, if you do want to see a pure Trickstar list, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, so far, I've just been enjoying this list uh, with, I mean, granted, it's not into full swing yet, but I do like playing uh, Sprite a lot. Uh, I know I just kind of sound like a broken record at this point, but it's something that I just have like the most like comfortability with, and it's something I know probably the best out of all the other current meta decks. Uh, I don't really want to play uh, Pendulums, I just think that deck is just too uh, glass cannon. I don't really want to play like Tier because with all these new cards coming out, who cares? And then uh, Flu is always the buy. So, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And until next time, this has been Papa, and I will catch you all in my next video. Take care, everyone.